guys, uh, thanks for joining me today. Uh, we're going to do something a little bit different. Um, I'm not in the workshop today. It's uh, messy with Christmas gifts and needs a good cleaning for what I'm going to be doing today. The other day I won a tool online and I wanted to give you guys the opportunity to open up my early Christmas gift um, with me and see what comes inside and uh, maybe get a better look at, uh, at it and uh, without further ado, let me turn the camera down and we'll open up the box. We already opened up the outside box, but I'll show you guys what all's in there and then we'll get into the actual tool. So uh, let me turn the camera. Alright, as you can see, there is the box. Let me get this a little bit wider. Alright, I'll do my best to keep it so you guys can view everything. Uh, right here is uh, the packaging receipt. Most important stuff, the packaging. Or the bubble wrap stuff. And looks like inside we get some little uh, brochures, pamphlets, or whatever. Um, it's got for the Multimax 20, which is what... I've got, and then it's got the Multi Max 40. Uh, let's see here. Ooh, looks like it uh, gives a description of both right here of what comes uh, with it, different parts on it. Then you have an accessories page. Oh, okay, it separates it. It's got cutting, grout removal, scraping, grinding, sanding, and the attachments. And uh, for all you that have smartphones that can do this, it's got a little barcode that you can scan. Alright, enough of that. Let's see what this other one is. Uh, let's see, versatile tool systems. Oh, this is, a, this is nice. This is a whole book on all their tools little router bits stuff for all their it's got Dremel engravers oh, that's a different language uh, there's the uh, saw max I don't know if many of you guys have seen that everybody wants one of those looks like it does pretty well cutting uh, there's some more of the Multimax stuff. And a bunch of their tool kits that, that they have. Alright, let's get to the actual... Oh, what's this? Let's say, uh... Little CD. The, uh... Okay, it tells a little bit about the uh, rotary tool, the Multimax. I think that's the Trio. And then... That's the Sawmax. Says 100 project tip or projects and 500 plus tips. All right, and as you can see, I'm now just pulling this out. Has not been broken yet. So let's see here. All right, here's the end. Let me make sure you guys are still in a good view. Oh, let me tip it up a little bit. Alright, there we go. Okay, here we go. Nice little box. Big, big case. This one's huge. Um, on the back, it's got a little bit of detail on it. Kind of same stuff that was in the booklet. Ooh, alright. Now for the moment that I've been waiting for. Alright. Check to make sure you guys can see. Go down. There's something important. I'll try to get a better view of it. Hold it up to the camera a little closer. All right. Let's see. All the important info. There's the owner's manual. If you've been following along, I like to uh, look at those quite a bit. Some of them give you little, uh, little tips, tricks, different things that you can build to uh, help you out with whatever tool you've gotten. 
Um, I know my if you saw my table saw review, uh, that one has a lot of things that you can that you can build to help out on your table saw. Here's a uh, diagram. Oh, okay, this is the uh, of the uh, rotary tools. But this has, uh, I guess, it's got info on all of them. Yeah, there's some more. There's some info on the Multimax. They got one for Multimax that's corded and one that's battery power powered. And the trio. Yeah, that was the trio on that other cover. I don't know if you guys can see it. That right there's the trio. Let me zoom in real quick. That's the little trio. It's like, it almost looks like a little jigsaw. A little handheld jigsaw. Alright, let's get this out here. I want to get you guys to actually see the tool. I don't want to bore you guys with all the paperwork. Nobody really enjoys that part. But, uh, it's always important. I'll fi fix that later. So you got the operating guide, the little card for the Maybe the uh, warranty or something. Uh, I'll, I'll look at it later. That's not important. Here's the uh, owner's manual. Tells you how to change things. This is the first time I'm looking at it. So I don't want to spend too much time on it with you guys watching. Alright. All the stuff's falling down on me. All right, let's get that out of the way. All right, here is the tool, the Multimax MM20. Whoop, it's stuck. You see that right there? That's what it looks like. It's corded. Looks like it's got a pretty decent sized cord on it. Uh, there's the head. It's got uh, different speeds right there, up to 10, and obviously down to zero. There you got the uh, trigger. All right, let's see what else do we got. I feel like a kid on Christmas morning. So if uh, guys from Dremel watches this, thank you. I really appreciate you guys doing that and. Uh, if you guys don't know, you can follow them on Twitter, and every once in a while they'll get with uh, Chip Wade and answer all your DIY questions. Some pretty useful stuff. The last time that they had the uh, DIY chat, they uh, yeah, that's what it's on. Uh, if you follow on Twitter, they got a hashtag uh, DIY chat, um, and. Uh, Seems like a lot of people have to do bath bathroom remodels and fix windows for insulation. All right, there's some sandpaper. Okay, this is different grit sandpapers. And yes, my thumb's purple. If you can see that, I've been painting. Uh, pretty easy. They just stick on there. I guess you just can peel them right back off. That's pretty simple. That's nice. Uh, let's see here. And then you've got, it says the flexible scraper. Let me get you a better shot of this. This is the scraper. That's very, very thin. And then this one is the Dremel wood tool. I guess this is what they, uh, they I'm not 100% sure, but I guess this is what they use to cut the uh, bombs of like the molding and stuff and they're around doors and everything like that all right we're going on quite a bit of time let me uh let me just look at this real quick i'm gonna make this video too long it's just supposed to be opening so you guys can see it oh that's easy there's a little screw with like a, a washer on it look at that that's simple let's uh Let's do some some wood. Uh, it's got a, a gap right here and a gap right here, so you know exactly how to put it on. I think. 
Let me see if I can figure this out. There we go. Look at that. That's easy. Slips right into that hole. Oh, I might have it upside down. Let's flip it over. And like I said, I haven't looked into it yet or haven't read too well, so don't don't follow anything I'm doing. Um, I will be posting up a video later on on this using it and stuff. Look at that. That's super simple. Super simple. And then you just, I guess you just tighten down. Um, but I will be using a uh, or doing a video on it, um, proper use, I guess. And uh, showing you guys how to cut some stuff and everything like that. Very, very cool. So, uh, thanks guys from Dremel for it. Um, I will be using it and getting a lot of use out of it. Um, and to all you viewers out there, thanks. And I uh, hope you guys have a great Christmas. And uh, look out for the video on this on uh, using it. Thanks guys.